So which are your favorite pieces so far? Um, I like the top left and the bottom right. Okay. Tim Watson is the vice president of sales at the Tea Collection. Really vivid colors. A small wholesaler that specializes in children's clothing. What's the price point? This will be $45. Today he's pitching one of his retailers, their new spring line for girls. And here you start to really feel spring. Just lots of liveliness. Yeah, that's cute. If you want to put together... And he's using IT software to help close the deal. We have this new website that we put up just for retailers. So I don't have to call my sales right. rep, I can just do it online. Yep, exactly. The Tea Collection was started in 2002 by Lee Rowden and Emily Meyer. Early on, they had a unique vision. It was kind of a reaction to no ducks and bunnies that was going on in the kids' market, and that there could be a, I had a vision to make something a little more sophisticated. This was this one, of, one the of the best sellers. sellers. Yeah. Both are experienced businesswomen, but with very different skills. Rowden is the entrepreneur, Meyer the creative force. Both dreamed of starting a small business at an early age. We have this saying that um, Lee's father taught her to spell the word entrepreneur when she was two years old. It's been in her blood and soul to start and to operate two. her That's own business. <laughs> yes, I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur, and but Emily's been sewing since she was three years old. So she's been clearly in the right career this whole time, but um, I certainly would never be in fashion design on my own, and nor would she probably be in entrepreneurship. The inspiration for their company and clothing line comes from various countries and cultures. We made a trip to Brazil and visited the most famous Cathedral Metropolitana, and we were completely captivated by this um, stained glass. We've taken that pattern and interpreted it into a print that we can create on a dress. Meyer and her team use design software to make the dress come to life. It's this garment that turns into this precious little look. Clothes are designed at a rapid pace, from shirts and sweaters to dresses. But having beautiful garments is only the first step. Tea Collection has implemented software to sell their line across the country. Okay, yeah, I think we should take a look over here uh, in the North Shore of Long Island. Seems like there's a lot of uncovered territory there. The executives at Tea Collection use the software to target new prospects. So it looks like there's a, a good opportunity for you in, in just outside of Salt Lake City. And find regions that aren't oversaturated with children's clothing. Essentially, this is a geographic uh, data mapping software. And so we, um, identify the zip codes that match what we think are the right demographics for a tea store. Uh, then we layer on top of that so we can see this is the landscape where uh, we think the best places for tea stores are and this is where we already have tea stores. Then we layer onto that leads or prospects that we have in those areas. A yellow dot and the green area that signifies the sales rep, this is somebody that we ought to pursue. The Tea Collection has also created a back-end tool for their retailers that makes it easier to place orders over the web. But even with all these new tools, growing pains remain. The biggest challenge is with technology is integration. So that you have multiple systems and when they don't integrate automatically, then you're depending on people to make those connections and that could take a lot of time. Today, the company is profitable, growing at more than 50% a year. 1% of sales is spent on IT, and they believe technology is the perfect fit. The business wouldn't be possible without technology because you'd have perhaps so many more people getting the work done, and the business couldn't support that. And nothing would be on time, and there'd be a lot more mistakes. For Bnet, I'm Sumi Das. Ooh.